Hello everyone, this is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. I'm glad you could join me this afternoon. I just have a few food items here that we picked up. Some of them are for our store, and some of them are for immediate use. Um, they're pretty much all sale items. I can't think of what is not a sale item, but Michelle, if she thinks it's necessary, will tag each one as I show you and tell you what they were. Now, uh, this we shopped at a different store than at Walmart, just simply because with Walmart, we can't get some of these products. So, that being said, I also want to mention this. You may have noticed that I'm not always consistently wearing my glasses, and the reason for that is, I think my eyes are changing a little bit. When I first got these, because these aren't bifocals or anything, I was told by my eye doctor that I shouldn't get, well, progressive lenses, I guess. They don't call them bifocals anymore. Um, I shouldn't get them as a truck driver because we're constantly looking inside mirrors and apparently the progressives really, really, really pooch people up. And that's most likely true. He would know, but my eyes are changing a little bit when I first got them I could kind of do things you know this far away and these glasses it was okay but now uh, when I'm in that zone between the distance and the close-up it's getting quite wacky and it could be the concept of wearing the glasses that's doing that but I also know that if I'm looking out across the street or something like that I do need my glasses the second thing is when I'm making videos as you can see in my lenses right now you can see the ring light so sometimes I don't wear them for that reason enough rambling uh, I'll take a moment and show you what we got here okay as I show you I'm gonna kinda set things aside here because I have I have them setting in quite close and they're hard to see. Now, this right here is Jif peanut butter. It is truly one of our favorites and we had several bottles of it and then there was a recall on it. I'm not sure if it was salmonella or what, but there was, there was a recall anyway and so we had to get rid of them and it was several months before stores started getting it back in stock. Now the Superstore had this today, but Walmart has yet to have this. So a bottle of this, and Michelle tells me this is for Christmas baking. So that's okay. Uh, two cans here of sliced white potatoes. And I never even noticed till now, but sliced white potatoes. And that's the French. On, if I turn it around, you see the English. But, as I have said before, it's a bilingual province, so our products are labeled in both French and English, which is cool. Don't have a problem with that at all. Two cans of diced tomatoes. We are starting to hear that tomatoes are going to be a big issue. So, we have a few cans. I'm not sure how many. I could look in the app and tell you, but... Uh, we got a couple more for the store. And if you've been watching, you know that we have quite a few cans of pumpkin puree. So this is pumpkin pie spice. Uh, it's a pretty good date on it, and the spices, these are, you know, as long as they're sealed up and whatnot, they'll last quite some time. We have another, a little tin of pumpkin pie spice up over the stove here but and this lactose free cream cheese I'm not sure what Michelle has in mind for that but I'm sure she has a plan got two more packages of these mini chips as I said these are the ones that will not bother Michelle they're vegan and it's not it's the fact that there's no dairy in them dairy bothers her if she gets too much of it It'll bother her like it's cumulative, so it adds up. She got two of these. These were definitely a sale item. They will be going on the pantry shelf, but 
we may well eat them in the next couple of weeks. I don't know, but they will get replaced as we use them up. We got uh, two cans of lima beans, and there again, French, English. And we got two more cans of manwich sauce. This is good stuff. We have probably four of them on the shelf now, maybe a few more, but they're going on the pantry. We got uh, a package. This is six boxes of Kleenex. Uh, I guess it's not Kleenex brand, so to call it that is incorrect. It's facial tissue. We got this. It's a bottle of apricot spread. Um, Michelle has a recipe we're going to use that for. It's a, and that's one of the ingredients is the apricot spread, so we got that. Uh, another tube canister of Lysol wipes. As you can see, there's always, this is the Great Value brand, but there's always one of them beside the stove. Michelle wipes all the surfaces with it. When she comes out to get her lunch, we've got a package of this Dream Whip. You can go on the shelf. There's four, four envelopes in there, and uh, it'll last longer than Cool Whip in the fridge or whatever. So I'm not sure what the date is on it. Again, I mean, I told her what the date was when she put it in the store app there. Best Before is on there. You can't see it without because it's stamped in, but. Two more boxes of the Lipton beef vegetable. We can't get this at Walmart, so. And it was a sale item. I do remember she said it was a sale item. We got a one liter, I think it's a one liter. Yeah, one liter of Concord grape juice. Good stuff there. A little tiny bottle of canola oil, 473 milliliters. That was not a sale item. She said that was. I don't know if she said it was $4 or $6, but it wasn't cheap. $4, I think. Yeah. And it's not half a liter. These are shortbread cookies. 200 gram package. They will be for immediate consumption. They're not long-term storage or anything. These aren't the ones she thought she was ordering. She said she was after the Vortman strawberry cookies and she got these wafers instead, but they're still pretty good, so they won't go to waste. And there's this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it because you just make fun of me. But anyway, two of them, and these were on sale. And also, two bottles of the Sweet Baby Rays. These are for the pantry shelf, and I mean, so is this. But uh, once again, a sale item. So that's just another part of this week's grocery haul. Some for the store, like these, definitely, you know, and the man, which it's all stuff that we'll eat as we go and replace as we go. So that was just a little side trip, I guess. So thank you for watching. Okay, everyone. Uh, I have put that little grocery haul, I put all the stuff away, and we've had supper. And now I just thought I would conclude that video. Uh, that was a pretty small little thing, a uh, small little haul, but the reason for it was those were things that Shell could not get at Walmart, so she got them from what we call the superstore here across the river. There's one on this side, but she prefers to shop online from the one across the river, and actually I do too, for reasons we won't get into. But uh, if you've watched, thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you have a blessed Labor Day weekend, wherever you are. Hopefully you got the day off. I do too. It's pretty nice to have that extra day there to rest up and whatnot. So, uh, as I said, or as I always say, may God bless you. And thank you once again. It's Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying bye for now.